Now, the first thing you can see I've drawn is my rectangle. This is my universal set, which in this case is our school, the teachers in our school anyway. Now I'm going to draw some circles on here. First question is, should the circles for teaching maths and teaching other subjects, should they be separate or should they overlap? Separate. Separate. Ah, I've had a few different answers. Okay, I'm thinking, <laughs> suddenly we're like, ooh, peer pressure. Okay, the circles should overlap. Now, there's two ways to know why that is the case. Reason number one, have a look at the question itself. Like, th read this thing that I wrote in red for you, right? The question itself tells you how many teachers can teach maths and another subject, which somewhat implies, doesn't guarantee, like the answer could be zero, but it somewhat implies that I think there are some people who can do both, right? Now the way you can confirm for yourself without the question sort of asking it, is when you have a look at the numbers. Do you remember we did this yesterday with, I think it was people who bought milk and bread? Do you remember that? We looked at the numbers, and when you look at 20 plus 121 plus 29, what do you get? 170. So you're like, hold on a second, I've got 170 when I add up, but I don't have 170 bodies to assign to those things. So there must be some overlap. Does that make sense? Okay. So given that, I've got my two circles. If you haven't already, please make sure you label what the circles are because I don't just want numbers flying around and I don't know what they indicate. So I'm going to put here uh, maths and other subjects. <laughs> Maths and other subjects, I'm going to try and work out who teaches what. Okay, so where did I begin last time? I actually started with this piece of information. It, it's written last, but you actually it's easiest to put on first. Um, who are these people, by the way? People who don't teach within the school. There's lots of them. What else do they do? Okay, okay so I'm going to put them outside the circle. I will write them there. Thank you, Sandy. But can someone tell me, what are they? who are these people? Yeah, Jessica. Um, <laughs> I think Mr. Johnson would be upset if we put him outside the circle because he is an English teacher. Um, but I guess, you, y yes, surprise. Um, every now and then you'll find him in a classroom. Louise, who can you think of? Okay, people who clean the school. They work here. They're important. The school can't function without them, but they don't teach. Who else? Yep. The office ladies, the general assistants, the um, science lab staff, the list goes on, right? So we have a lot of people who don't have any qualification to teach, but they are part of the school nonetheless. So I've got them, they're represented, okay? Now from there, I then have a look at some of the other information, okay? Now you can do this a couple of different ways, but I'm going to say, first, how many people have I got left to put into the diagram? I've counted up 29. So 100 and? 136, I believe. 136, because this is how many people I'll have in the end, and I subtract 29. Check my arithmetic, I think it is 136. Okay? So I'm going to put 136 people into here, right? But I know that 20 of them will be in this circle. Do you agree with that? 20 will be in that circle. Okay? So I'm going to take that 136 number, and I'm going to say, don't worry about those 20 now. So 136 take away 20 gives you what? 116. This is the only place left in the diagram for those 116 to go. Let me say that again, okay? 136 people are going to go inside the circles. I know 20 will be in here. So this is just the final spot that's left. Does that number agree with you? Is that okay? Louise, do you have a thought? Let's finish this way and then we'll come to your way and we'll see if we end up at the same spot. Is that okay? All right. I've got this in between bit, right? Because there's more than 116 people who teach other subjects. How many are there? There's 25. There are, look, look, it's, it's in the question. There's 121 who should be in that right hand circle. And so far I've counted 116 of them. How many are left over? Five, Five right? 116 plus 5 gives me 121. Now at this point, I've actually answered this second question. Now, I know now how many teachers can teach maths and another subject. It's that number, okay? So I'll come back to that in a second. I just want to finish off the diagram. What's the final number? Where'd you get 15 from? 20 minus 5. 20 minus 5. We know there should be 20 people in here. We already counted 5 of them. There's the 15 leftovers. So you've got... These five who are the focus of the question, right? Um, they're people 
uh, like me. So I don't just teach maths, I also teach computing studies. People like Ms. Saxena, she's a math teacher, but she's also a science teacher. So there's a few of us poking around, but I just kind of made up these numbers. Now Louise, you suggested a different way of going through this. What did you do instead? Um, so first I just did the two circles. And then I wrote 20 in, on the left side. Here? Yes. Um, and 121 on the right side. Just, Here? Yeah, just so I know like, what I'm starting with. OK, sure. Um, and then I um, added, and the 29 obviously outside. Mm -hmm. um, and then I added it all together to see how much it became. And it was 170. So I knew I needed to get rid of five. OK. Right, all right, so Jessica, you did the same thing? Yep. So you added up all of these numbers and you're like, I'm five over. I've got five more than I'm supposed to, right? So the extra five, they must be in here, people we've counted twice. Is that basically how you did yeah, it? Yeah, and then I just took away five from each side and just... So that's why that's 15, and that's why yeah, that's 116. Yeah, sure. So I will point out, that fantastically works, and that logic actually does pan out. There's one little thing that I just want to caution you for, at the moment, um, the situations we're looking at have got two overlapping circle with circles there. Yeah, does that make sense? What if I had another one? This becomes a bit more complicated, doesn't it? What if I contemplated people who taught maths and other subjects and then I picked out one particular subject, like computing studies, right? Then it's a little more tricky. You've got more numbers flying around and this strategy becomes less useful. But in this case, for this simpler one, it did work. Are you happy with that? Does it make sense?